Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my fashion bunker. Thank you so much for uh, giving the success that the video uh, How to Pronounce Italian Brands Correctly had. Um, thanks to you guys, it's been doing very well. The video, the little baby is growing healthy uh, and uh, you've all liked it so much. I thought, you know, I was going to make like a funny interpretation of uh, of Super Jacob being a professor, but you know, I, I thought it was kind of I, the, the plan, the original plan was to post a video uh, right after Christmas, so like Chris, which which I did on the 27th of December, I think, like on that Sunday when everybody's like just stuffed with food and slowly getting back into the rhythm of regular life, preparing for New Year's Eve, and then, you know, it's a Sunday thing, like an easy thing to watch, funny pronunciation of words, but a lot of you really liked it, and a lot of you were also asking me why certain Italian brands were missing in the video or in, in my list. Well, there was really no time because I didn't want the video to be overly long. So, uh, since a lot of you, not just some, but really a lot of you have been asking me other names, here we go, guys. This is part two. Uh, it is a requested video, one of the most requested to, to date, mm, rather other than maybe like, yeah, like full collection videos of Jeremy Scott or Chanel or stuff like that. But as far as the creative videos go, I think I'm really liking this. And as long as you like it, I like it. Let's like it together. Here we go. Professor Super Jacob is putting on his reading glasses. Hi, y'all. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention my other videos. New hair color. What do you think, guys? Is it okay? I'm liking it much more than before because I love the overall blo Blonde is fabulous. So we, as we said, blonde is in for 2016. All right. So... Here we go. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready to learn some Italiano pronunciations? Let's go. Let's see. Now, I've been asked to say the name of a designer, Italian designer, very popular in the 60s, 70s, but still today the brand exists, but it's not that hyped as it used to be. But gorgeous psychedelic prints, especially in the 70s. When I say gorgeous psychedelic prints, some of you might have already guessed, yes, it's the case of Emilio Pucci. Now, Emilio Pucci. So a lot of people would say Emilio Pucci, but it's not Pucci because it has two C's. So it's Pucci. P-U-C-C-I. The double C makes it stronger. You know, it's Pucci. It's not Pucci. It's Pucci. Emilio. So it's E-M-I-L-I-O. Emilio Shout out to Emilio, by the way, if you're watching, not the designer who's already part departed, but Emilio. Follow him on Twitter. <laughs> really funny. I love it. Anyway, Emilio Pucci. Emilio, E-M-I-L-I-O, Pucci. Emilio Pucci. Now, uh, next up, again, Giorgio Armani. We had Giorgio Armani in the first video. But uh, let's just repeat it. His perfume, the perfume that I mentioned in the first video was Aqua di Gio for men, I think, yeah. And then we have the female version. Somebody asked me to pronounce the female version of the perfume, which would be Aqua di Gioia. Now, Gioia means uh, happiness in Italian. But also some girls have the name Gioia. Uh, in any case, it's a complicated word. I can see how, how it can be complicated, especially for American speaking people, because it's spelled G-I-O-I-A. And it's like Gaioia, Gaioia, actually. But it's Gioia. And it's not Gioia, it's just Gioia. Gioia, Gioia, Gioia. So it's Gioia. Aqua di Gioia. And Aqua stands for water. A C Q U A. Aqua. Aqua di, di is for di. It's not di. It's not Aqua di Gioia, Gioia. <laughs> but it's Aqua di Gioia. All right, moving on. Um, I think I, in my first video, I did do Valentino, but Valentino, of course, also has the second part of the name, which is Garavani. So it's not Garavani or Garavani or Garavani, Vani, Vani. It's Garavani, G-A-R-A-V-A-N-I, Garavani. Valentino 
Garavani. Famous for red color. Now, I'm wearing red today, but this is a vintage uh, Versus piece. Now, Versus is another brand from Gianni Versace. Versace was our top brand to pronounce in the first video. Uh, however, there's also Versus. Donatella Versace, the sister of Gianni Versace, was responsible for the Versus line when Gianni was alive. So we're talking about the 90s, basically. She was the head designer of Versus. Now she's the head designer of Gianni Versace, which is now just called Versace, and she has other designers doing the Versus line. But this was the time uh, back in the day in the 90s when Donatella Versace was doing the Versus line. Versus is spelled V-E-R-S-U-S. -S, versus. Versus. It's not versus. I mean, it stands for the word versus from Latin. It means like uh, somebody versus somebody else, somebody against somebody else. Mm, but it is indeed R, not R, versus, versus by Gianni Versace, designed in this case by Donatella Versace. Moving on, another one I've been asked to say is Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta is a brand that is often pronounced in English as Bottega Veneta or Venita, Venita, Veneta, Bottega, 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 Veneta, Venita. Well, the correct pronunciation is Bottega Veneta. Repeat after me. Bottega Veneta. B-O-T-T-E-G-A. So there's a double T there. Bottega. So it's not Bottega. Because the double T has a heft, it has a weight, so it's Bottega. Bottega Veneta. Veneta is spelled V E N E T A. Veneta. Not Veneta, but Veneta. Quicker. Bottega Veneta. Comes from uh, Il Veneto, which is a region in the north of Italy, close to Venice, in the Venice region, uh, where uh, this uh, brand. Um, Bottega is, is like a manufacturer from, from Veneto, basically, kind of, in that direction. That's what the name stands for, Bottega Veneta. Now we're moving on to a brand that is often pronounced as Bulgari. But it's not Bulgari, it's Bulgari. B-U-L-G-A-R-I. Bulgari, Bulgari. And the U is like a V, because in Latin the V would be pronounced as a U. <laughs> the V as in victory. Uh, victory is a victory, not a victory, but Bulgari, even though it has that symbolic Latin V, it's a U, or pronounced as a U, so it's a Bulgari, and the U is a quick U. You see, in America you would say Bulgari, the Ari, Bulgari, but it's Bulgari, Bulgari, you know, it's like quick, U, A, E, from Bulgari, Bu, Ga, Ri, Bulgari, it's like Bu, you know, like Bulgari, instead of Bulgari. It's Bulgari instead of Bulgari. So it's Bulgari. B-U-L-G-A-R-I. Okay, guys. You got the gist, right? Moving on to... Um, now, I thought I did this one, but apparently not. So people have been asking me how to say Prada. Well, Prada is Prada. Miucha Prada, to be exact. That's her kind of uh, affectionate name, uh, what people affectionately have given her. Uh, Miucha is M-I-U-C-C-I-A. Miucha. So it's not Miucha. It's Miucha. Double C. So it's a tougher one. It's a harder C. It's, it's longer. It's deeper. It's Cha. Miucha. Miucha Prada. Not Prada or Prade or Prada. It's not Prada. It's Prada. Miucha Prada. Moving on to a difficult one. This one is... I'll spell it out first for you. E-R-M-A-N-N-O. Hermano. Surname S-C-E-R-V-I-N-O. Shervino. Hermano Shervino. Which, in English, a lot of people will say hermanos. Scurvino, Servino, Scurvino, Servino, when indeed, and in fact, it's not Servino, Scurvino, it's Shervino, Hermano, Shervino. Now notice that Hermano has a double N, so it's Anno, it's not Anno. <laughs> well, oh dear, well Anno means something else actually, no pun intended here, but Anno is actually, sorry to say this, sorry the language, anus in Italian. Uh, but it, it's, I mean, you know, it's a bylaw, it's organic, it's a way to pronounce, it's a medical term, so I guess we're fine. 
Hermano, double N, so it's Anno, Hermano, Cervino. And we're ending it, of course, who's gonna crown the cherry? This time around we had Versace in the first video instead of Versace and Versace or Versace uh, in some instances also called well. This time around, many of you have been asking me to pronounce the most difficult Italian brand name, which is Ermenegildo Zegna. There you have it, guys. That's how you pronounce this crazy ass name that oh so few know how to pronounce. And trust me, also a lot of Italians cannot pronounce it. So it's Ermenegildo Zegna. Let's spell it out. E-R-M-E-N-E-G-I-L-D-O. I'll spell that again. E-R-M-E-N-E-G-I-L-D-O. Now, we pronounce that name Ermenegildo. 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 So when you pronounce it properly with the right speed, it's Ermenegildo. 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 Repeat after me. Ermenegildo. Ermenegildo. Surname spelled out Z E G N A. The G N A in Italian is pronounced Nya. Nya. Nya, 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 nya. So the Z is a Z. It's not a Z. It's not a Zigna, Zegna, Zegna, Zegna. It's Zegna. Ermenegildo Zegna. Not Zegna or Zegna, but Z. Zegna. Ermenegildo Zegna. Ermenegildo Zegna. I won't stress enough to repeat it correctly, guys, because you've got to learn it. You wanted it so bad, you got it. <laughs> I'm telling you how to pronounce it now. Ermenegildo Zegna. Ermenegildo Zegna. So, that would be our top difficult name to pronounce of the day, Ermenegildo Zegna. Um, I think maybe we could do one more. The, did I do that in my other video? I can't remember. Well, let's just do it again. Riccardo Tisci. Riccardo Tisci is the head designer of Givenchy, uh, uh, a French couture brand, but Riccardo Tisci is Italian. We spell his name R-I-C-C-A-R-D-O. D-O, not T-O, but D-O, like don't. Riccardo. And the surname is Tisci. T-I-S-C-I. -I. It's not Tisci, like 90% of the people pronounce wrongly. It's not Tisci, it's not Tishai, it's not Tishi, it's Tisci. Riccardo Tisci. Riccardo, and we have a double C there, in the, it's a Riccardo, not Richard or Ricardo. It's not Ricardo. Ricardo, not his name. Riccardo. Riccardo Tisci. Guys, yeah, all right, there we go. Now, I've said enough, I have bothered you enough. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comment section below if there is anything else you would like me to say. Love you, bye. Mwah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun.